a little bit about this this very trending topic what is the best way to become a millionaire in 2017 and i can tell you i have this incredible opportunity this one incredible opportunity the best way to become a millionaire in 2017 you're not going to believe it it's brutal like I, I can't tell you how quickly it works uh it's this one pick i know it's kind of crazy because most of you don't know me for the stock market but i'm telling you this is one pick that is going to take you to the roof right uh it, it's the stock ticker is d b a m again d b a m and uh it, it's crazy because it, it's this thing that as soon as you start you're gonna have these high expectations it's gonna go up and it's gonna keep going up but then you're gonna quickly realize that it was all a sham to begin with. So DBAM stands for don't be a monkey. And reality is there's too many monkeys out there and we need to just get just we need to get rid of that monkey mentality of instant gratification. So don't be a monkey is my best stock pick for 2017 for best way to become a millionaire uh, this year. And reality is the more you chase the money, the further you follow through on this need to make a million dollars in one year, the further you're ever gonna get from the ability to actually make a million dollars. So let's talk very briefly. I'm gonna keep this video, try to make it under three minutes, but listen, the best way to become a millionaire is really simple. It's been the same since the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s, it doesn't change. It's the same basic three concepts, like broken down into this. A, you need to understand what you're good at. Like you need to figure out what your skills are, which one of your skills you're naturally better at than other people, those are called your talents. Then you need to figure out how your talents, whatever they are, that it's drawing, playing football, or whatever it is, how can you bring these talents to people? Meaning what are the vehicles of business you can use to drive these talents to have people pay for them? Because when you're very good at something, then people want to pay you for it. So you don't have to force them to pay you for it. You don't even have to convince them to pay you for it. They naturally will pay you lots of money for it because they believe in it, they understand how good you are at it, and they understand they can't get the same quality elsewhere. That is why people pay big money for things. And so you gotta understand that one very simple concept. The second key piece is to make sure that as you figure out these vehicles that take you to the very top and are gonna continue to drive you up uh, to closer to your million dollars, you actually understand that these vehicles need processes so they don't involve you day in and day out. There is no such thing as making a million dollars every year over and over. You have to have a process in place so you can scale a business above the million dollar mark so you can actually sustain it. And so at some point or another, the reason why it takes so long for some people to sustain that is because it takes them a few years to create a process so it can be self-sustaining. And so, you know, process is the second piece of the equation. The third very important piece is network. And network is important not because of that cliche bullshit we hear on TV that's like your network equals your net worth and all that shit and I'm cool and I'm gonna say that on Instagram, but because you need people around you who understand and believe what you're doing so they can help you kind of get and take more directions as you go and ultimately open more doors for you. The point of a network is not for them to tell you what to do or to just keep you accountable to your actions. Some of that is, is accurate, but the majority of it is because A, they fuel your belief and your purpose. Why? Because they let you see that they've already done and it is possible. So you need to network with people above you, better than you, who have more experience than you. And then the really second component of that is also because people that are good at what they do, especially if you're talented at something and you figured out what your talent is, you're gonna meet people, and I'm, this isn't a joke, you're gonna meet people that are very talented in their own fields. And as a result of it, you're gonna have a guy for this, a guy for that, a guy for this, and a guy for that. And what happens when you do that is that you actually start building a really strong network of people that can get shit done. And because they value your talent, they're not gonna charge you as much for theirs. So what that does is that gives you access to some of the best people in the world at a fraction of the cost. And so that is the key to a powerful network, one that is leverageable. Because any idiot that thought that a network was just built on having good friends that made big things happen and made a lot of money is very wrong because that's the wrong way to look at a, a, a relationship. Every relationship is a give or take. So you have to first figure out what your talent is to understand who has value for that talent, what can you provide them, and then in exchange, what talent can they provide you back? That's how some of the today's most incredible people come together, bring their talents together, and build incredible companies based on two people's incredible talents. And so hopefully that makes sense to you, and hopefully you understand that 
DBAM, you know, don't be a monkey in 2017 it is a real big necessity because instant gratification has been fucking dead. If you're still stuck on that, then sorry, but you know, you're gonna stay poor for a really long time. So if you want a lifestyle, if you want the things, uh, like the freedom of traveling, if you want the freedom to take care of your family, if you want the cars, the houses, the things that you've seen me talk about, it doesn't matter how you wanna spend your money and it doesn't matter that I'm sitting in a McLaren or a Civic. Whatever, what matters is for you to understand these three key things that are gonna help you become a millionaire or be on your way to becoming a millionaire this year. And if you're not gonna change those things, then you're gonna be looking at changing them again next year. So don't be a monkey, don't look for instant gratification and get shit done. I'll catch you guys next time.